Hi there, Cancer. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present, and future, and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay, Cancer? So let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Cancer, please? The past energy for Cancer. The past energy for Cancer. Cancer. All right, so the past energy for Cancer, the Wheel of Fortune, okay, but with the High Priestess in reverse, with the Page of Wands, and um, the Five of Cups for the present energy. Strength with the Fool in reverse. And um, the future energy for Cancer, please. The future energy. The Ten of Swords. With the Empress in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. And the overall energy of the reading it's the five of swords i feel like there's conflict between you and this person the five of swords could even be talking about self-sabotage so when i clarify i'll gain more insight because it seems like there is someone that has remorse with the five of cups but with the wheel of fortune that's talking about like a fated encounter okay but also like um the desire for positive change but the high priestess is showing up in reverse with the page of wands so there could have been like a lack of clarity when it came to a specific situation so maybe this is you like embarking on a brand new journey with the page of wands but again when i clarify i'll gain more insight it's like a desire for positive change but the high priestess is showing up in reverse now i feel like there is someone that's feeling um the loss of this connection there could even be remorse you could have shared a strong bond with this person with strength, but the Fool card is showing up in reverse. So I don't feel like someone took that leap of faith and I don't see a brand new beginning. Okay, so with the future energy, there's pain with the Ten of Swords. The Empress card is showing up in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I feel like there is someone that's not really communicating. There could be like insecurities regarding communication, uncertainty. Someone's not speaking their truth with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Maybe this is you that pulled your energy back. But there's also uncertainty, okay, when it comes to this connection. So let me clarify the Five of Swords before I say anything else. Let me clarify the Five of Swords. Clarifying the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords. For Cancer, please. The Five of Swords. Okay. One more. The Five of Swords for Cancer. Clarifying the Five of Swords. Yeah, there is someone that's thinking about you with the Four of Swords. They're thinking about the conflict, okay? And I feel like this is someone that has remorse. The Ten of Pentacles, like there was a potential for stability, wish fulfillment. And because, oh boy, so the Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone did not express how they felt towards you with the Knight, with the, the knight of Cups in reverse. And now they're reflecting, they're thinking about you. They're think, thinking about the potential of this connection with the Ten of Pentacles and the conflict. Let me get one more card. 
There you go, the five of pentacles in reverse. So this could have been someone that had to overcome fears in order to express how they felt, okay? Or they, how they feel towards you with the knight of cups in reverse. That's, that's a lot of fives. Okay, so let me clarify the wheel of fortune for the past. It seems like there was a potential for a brand new beginning. But let's see. There you go, but there was uncertainty or confusion with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, so it could have been this person that you were dealing with that was internally conflicted with the Five of Wands. So they were not listening to their intuition with the High Priestess in reverse, or they lacked clarity. So they were internally conflicted. A lot of time could have gone by as well with the Wheel of Fortune. So let me clarify the High Priestess. This seems like there was conflict between you and this person as well. Differences. The Ace of Wands, even though there was like a potential for a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. So someone had to make a choice. Okay, so with the Eight of Cups, there could have been a distance between you and this person, okay? Um, but it seems like there was dissatisfaction with the Eight of Cups. So maybe somebody walked away. But let me clarify the Page of Wands. The Eight of Swords. So I feel like there was a potential for a brand new beginning, but someone was really stuck up in their headspace. Um... There could have been fear-based thoughts. Someone could have been felt like they were stuck. But let's see. Let me get one more card before I say anything. And the Ten of Cups. Wow. So there was a potential for wish fulfillment and happiness with the Ten of Cups. So you could have shared a strong bond with this person. But for whatever reason, someone wasn't listening to their intuition with the High Priestess in Reverse. So let me clarify the Five of Cups. So this is someone that has remorse, sadness, judgment. The Six of Pentacles. With the Two of Swords in reverse, I feel like this person does have clarity. Um, so judgment talks about a fated encounter. I feel like this is someone that's wanting there to be an equal give and take in energy with the Six of Pentacles. They're wanting there to be balance. But let me clarify strength. Look at that. The two of cups in reverse. I'll get that one second. Let me get. There we go. The knight of swords in reverse. Let's see. Yeah. The magician in reverse. One second. The magician in reverse. So I feel like it was difficult manifesting this connection into the 3D, even though there was that potential. Okay. That's why I don't really see someone taking action. But let me clarify the Fool in reverse. There you go, Strength in reverse. That's crazy. The Five of... That's a lot of Fives. Um, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like someone had fears regarding this brand new beginning and that's why there was conflict with the Five of Swords or like even self-sabotage. Now someone's having difficult healing um, from this disconnect. There's a sense of remorse, sadness for not taking that leap of faith because there was that potential. Okay, so um, let me clarify the Ten of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. There's someone that's thinking about you, okay? But um, they're like wanting to express how they feel with a Page of Cups, but they're not speaking their truth. There's pain. This person's not expressing that they are in pain. But let me clarify the Empress card in reverse. Look at that. It's like the Emperor in reverse and the Empress in reverse. I don't really see a reconciliation or forward momentum when it comes to this connection. And that someone's stressed out with the Ten of Wands. So it's like the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. 
There's like a sense of heaviness. I feel like someone has clarity though with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Someone could even be feeling overwhelmed. But at the same time, not really communicating how they feel. So let me clarify the Ace of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Chariot. <coughs> the Knight of Pentacles. One more. There we go, the wheel. So I really feel like there is someone not being direct about their feelings or communicating directly. It's like the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. And there could very well be confusion regarding moving forward here with the Chariot and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Chariot is someone that makes a choice and moves forward with determination, but they could very well be doing it in a very slow and methodical fashion. And that's why things are not really taking a turn for the positive here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like somebody moving slowly towards positive change. So there's someone that's really reflecting on the potential of this connection and the conflict with the Five of Swords. So let me get further insight from the Intimate Tarot for Cancer, please. Cancer. 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 Okay. The Nine of Cups. There is that Knight of Pentacles energy and the Knight of Wands. But the Seven of Swords. So the High Priestess with the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. Let me get one more card. There you go, that Ten of Cups again. Oh boy. So there is someone that's not being quite forthcoming about their feelings or honest. In a sense, that could be like self-deception even. Uh, or being... Because I see like passion here with the Knight of Wands. I see a slow energy heading towards you. They're trying to be methodical. They're trying to think things through. But you could very well be focused on your own wish fulfillment with the Nine of cups and the nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles is someone that's very self-focused focused on their independence taking great care of themselves okay um but i feel like there is someone that's wanting to move forward wanting a reconciliation possibly wanting to take action so the high priestess this could very well be you listening to your intuition okay you could be a very intuitive person as well but this is also someone having to listen to their intuition uh, with the High Priestess. Since the High Priestess did show up in reverse for the past. Okay, so let me get messages from the Oracle deck for Cancer, please. Cancer. Cancer. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. So letting go of conflict as well, okay? Love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, okay? I'll read that, the numbers after. Okay, so card number 24 is focus on love, which is six, okay? And uh, love makes the difference. Love heals, past hurts, and provides a sense of security. Card number 31, which is 4. Card number 48, which is 12 or 3. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. So someone having to take action, possibly, towards positive change. And you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. So card number 4, okay? So let me get messages from... 
the romance angel deck for cancer please cancer cancer um let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others okay wedding this situation involves marriage so the potential for commitment flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay Someone having to move forward towards positive change. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? There is someone that's reflecting on the potential of this commitment and the conflict here, okay? So that's my reading for you, Cancer, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.